We have heard a lot of background. We learn more about the patient actually feels and maybe we didn't always realize what the needs of the patients were so far. We clearly feel that the patient should be much more a partner than he or she is at the moment. Now, chronic rhinosinusitis is a little bit of a disease that has been overlooked for a long time. One of the reasons is that you need a specialist to either evaluate the CT scan or evaluate nasal endoscopy to actually uh, fix the diagnosis. And that means that there are many issues from both the patient side and the doctor side uh, where there are uncertainties, where there is uncontrolled disease that is either not recognized um, or where for the patients, or from the patient's perspective, there is no further help on them. They do not know what are the possibilities. And as we just heard, there's an enormous lack of reliable patient guidance. You can find everything in the internet, but very little valid information. Now, in a time where we think about these um, approaches, but where we also think about new treatments, biologics coming into the field of chronic rhinosinusitis, differentiation of surgery uh, being more and more um, relevant here, there is also a need for the doctors to be more guided and best with their patients. The doctors also is very reliable on a quality feedback from the patients. And this might be more than two or three questions. How are you? Mostly they ask, are you better than before? And then they say, yes, I'm better. But that doesn't mean that they are good. This little sentence already tells you that there's much more valid information needed also from the patient side for the doctors to evaluate Sorry. the need uh, what needs to be done. So a tool was created, the Euphoria Chronic Rhinosinusitis Patient Support Platform, that should empower the patient to monitor disease, to monitor symptoms, with the aim of achieving disease control, optimal use of medications, and understanding the disease, not just in terms of their symptoms, but also secondary effects on quality of life, on performance in their job and work. This will not only help the patient, this will also help the doctors to much better understand the disease, what is relevant for the patient. Real life data, as we heard, are very important to uh, gather. Uh, how are these uh, treatments perceived by the patient? A question that is very often not really honestly asked. Um, are there effects on, on socioeconomic uh, impact on, uh, of the therapy in real life? And this will also enable us to understand at what time do the patient obviously need more intervention and what kind of intervention might that be, either surgery or biologics. The patient creates an individual profile which helps the doctor immediately also to understand the disease of the patient better, what has been tried, what were the experience of the specific patient, and here the patient gets more and more a partner to the medical doctor. There are simple tools, and Jean presented that very nicely, simple tools that can be used by the patient not only on the symptoms but also quality of life issues, work performance issues. This data will help the patient to understand, is my disease controlled? Because it's very difficult for the patient to know what can he expect, what should he or she expect. And by giving them this help, they will understand whether their disease is fine and nothing else needs to be done, whether the treatment needs to be continued, or whether new treatment needs to be introduced. So the recognition of need for improved disease management is a major point of this platform. The data that have been collected by the patient can immediately then be transferred 
to the doctor side. So the doctor has, in short time, information on what symptoms, what uh, complaints the patient actually had under what or after what therapy. And so the doctor also gets a much better partner to the patient, understanding much better the disease. Witzke talked about educational information. It's a sort of reward for the patient who continuously uses this app to get really uh, state-of-the-art information to be informed in a proper and, and, and valid way. And I think that patients, according to the situation in which they are currently are, are very in need of such information. So finally, what we want to impl implement is an informed patient who is a good partner to an informed doctor. Um, there's an exchange of inv information between these two. Um, we understand much better of the disease from the doctor's side, and we understand much better at what time point there is a step up necessary in the management and treatment. Thank you.